pants now, my bad. Yeah. Oh, hello. We're back. We're back. Um, eating. Domino's the classic, you know. Every week, Domino's. Yeah. Uh, we're the sponsor. We're yeah, we're, we're not sponsored yet. You know, they're missing out. They're missing out. Imagine, can you yeah. imagine the Domino's logo, the little Domino, the red and blue, on screen when you have these insane games going on. Mind what is their marketing team doing? What's it doing? What is our marketing team what doing? What is their marketing team doing? Absolutely Where nothing. Where is it? It's non-existent. We only we don't pick ban. Yeah, we'll just keep buying. Okay, Zaya Oriana bans on... Uh, Makes sense. Yeah. After all that. I mean, Zaya kind of won the game last game, so... And it was for DA of City, so you don't want to see that. Maokai goes out, because that was... Okay. Wow. So, just banning the top tiers. And I don't want the Kindra, though. Is that the best No Kindred? Jarvan. Is that Kindra on the left? That is. Left I think most? it's Karthus. Oh, you're right. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. It's tough with the is, is that black a and white. Triple jungler ban. Who is Raw Reaper's jungler, and why are they so afraid of him? He might do some crazy work. All right. First pick in the Vi. I imagine they're going to go for a, po I mean, a pick composition on Obsidian. I do love the Vi. I mean, she can do so much shit. Even her ganks are crazy. Like, her clear is good. I love playing her. What yeah. Did I play? She's great. And she's awesome because she has, no, she's not a tank. She has some tanky stats and she does so much damage. Right. The built in pass, like the vein, essentially vein passing. Plus, you get the attack speed from it. It's nasty. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Udyr is locked in. Udyr. Okay. Um, the God Deer is locked in. Um, you know, I missed Trick 2G. I don't know if that guy's still there. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think he still streams. That's good. That's yeah. Good. He's a, a true veteran. That guy is the the original he's the original guy oh yeah you know, he's, he's the man. Uh, Jinx coming in it's still an insane Nico. champion okay Nico Twitch now the Nico is a nice pick because she's a flex pick she could go support or she could stay mid yep. and if they're feeling really spicy she could even go top though not the most not the best top laner and a collie on the side of Roar Reapers and Yasuo? That would be a weird pick. I, I think the Akali is a much better pick. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially with an Udir. I, I don't know what you're trying to set up there. All right, not too much going on if you have that little duo for the mid ganks. Now, for uh, Obsidian's comp, I can imagine they're going to want to get rid of some of the really good pick so they, they may want to ban Rakan who could really facilitate Akali going in and follow up on Udyr super well and get out also a menace with Jinx um, I like uh, Obsidian's comp a lot better so far it's more cohesive it's a lot easier to execute Garen Orn ban just banning out top lane and Renekton ban what do you make of this Renekton's interesting. Interesting man. Um, and Silas. Okay, I mean, I love it. Back to Champions League. Okay, yeah. No I, matter what. Is going on. I don't get why. I mean, maybe like they why? thought they could flex Akali top. But I'm pretty confident Akali's going mid. And I get the logic. You don't want Nico or Vial taken by Silas. But that was kind of a weird ban to me, it seems. I, I don't think there was really a fear in the top lane Akali. They're feeling themselves after this last win they just had. Yeah. They're doing what I mean. I guess they're just doing whatever. We're not a glass coming through. You know, that crazy little berserk alt. Mm hmm I mean, look, you she alts Twitch at the right time. Twitch is going to alt, and then he's going to kill his whole team. So we'll see what happens with that. I definitely like D Obsidian's team fight right now. Yeah. Um, big initiation with the mill. Oh. Locked See, Melio is a really good pick here because, I mean, look at Roar Reaper's composition. Udyr and Akali and Jinx. I mean, no one here is a real gap closer beside Akali. And, okay, that, that okay, no, I like the Ken a lot better than the Gwen. The Ken is nice. Yeah. Uh, but Melio. I mean, Dia yeah. has an alpha. This is a really good answer, and they are going to go to Kennen, are they? That would be a much better choice because Milio can kick away the Akali, and that's the only sure fire engage they have, and that's not who you want to engage on the side of the Raw Reapers. They'll take Aatrox instead. Uh, well, 
It's a, you know, it's a pick. Um, top lane against Malphite, he might be able to do something if he gets yeah. a little bit ahead. Uh, so Raw Reapers is a really strong snowball composition, but it's going to be a lot harder to pull off. A lot of highly mechanical champions with Aatrox and uh, Akali, and even to an extent Udyr, playing Udyr jungle, or it's even Udyr top. the master to be good, for yeah. sure. You know, with people who are higher ELO, that's actually pretty difficult to do. Uh, whereas Obsidian's co um, composition is just press R and enjoy. It's just a wombo combo alt pretty composition. Kind of looks fun as hell to be a part of. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what ends up happening here. D Obsidian coming off that crazy win they just had. Hopefully that momentum's still there for that. It's the Raw Reapers. All right, loading in and that little cute guy in the river. Little duck thing. I love the duck you. Wow, I love that Jinx skin. She is ready oh, yeah. for business. Oh my god, more copyright infringement. T1 Mui. Oh yeah, no one has their own teams here. NRG in the top lane. Shout out to oh, NRG yeah, yeah. for... They lost to Weibo Gaming 3-0, but shout out to them for even getting so far. Wait, Ta uh, uh, I'm not sure I can say that on stream. Look at him. <laughs> I guess that's why Amazing they banned Karthus. Name by the Udyr, Taliban Karthus. Yeah. Um, I feel like he should have played Ziggs. <laughs> I ain't right, because he's not <laughs> actually much more accurate, yeah. to be honest. Um, Ziggs dies, you know, bada bing. They're getting topical, and right now they're just lining up like a line of scrimmage, just... Typical, all making right. sure no one can sneak into your jungle. Nothing all, too crazy. All the chokes covered by oh someone's man. body. <laughs> yeah, I also, yeah, I didn't notice that Young Rat is not playing Twitch. That's honestly a tragedy. It is. He needs to be on Twitch. Young Rat. Yeah, I think we need to restart this <laughs> What game. a good name, actually. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love that name. What is that? It's true. Stream is freaking out, but we got it. We're here. And oh, wow. that was happening last week. I don't know why that's happening. Aatrox just being a nuisance, but Could not really capture. achieving anything. Oh, well, it'll come back, certainly. Ideally. Yeah. It is. And finally, feed is. Oh, now it's the full. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and this is. Oh, my. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys can see the flashbangs occurring but uh they're yeah. definitely flashbanging me in the studio all right what's going on taliban karthus is, is uh, what could it be taliban karthus is bombing our stream right now he is He's i can't see anything getting a political message <laughs> the uh screen is completely black okay oh that's 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 hitting me well i'm getting flashbanged <laughs> Yeah, we're. Uh, this was happening two weeks ago. I, I forget what it was. I, we fixed it, I thought, but. Oh, that's the whole screen. Oh, shit. All right. All right. Hold oh well on, folks. Top lane is getting spanked. Somehow, Aatrox is losing to a Malphite top lane. HDMI is having some issues. We tried unplugging and replugging. Let's see if that works. All right, folks, bear with us. Okay. Fingers crossed the stream seems stable. And Aatrox turned around that top lane. Malphite forced to flash. This is how it's supposed to go. I don't know what happened before where Aatrox was somehow down in a fight against uh, Malphite. And Nico doing Nico things, just harassing, going to ward and uh -oh. the support on uh, support on Raw Reapers, forced to burn Flash. That's big. Renata is a very immobile person, uh, character. Shit, she yeah, move. no, she can't move. She does not move like that. Rave Master trying to come through, but 
Unless she goes through the lane, there's no real avenue to gank. She could go down a lane gank, though. The lane is pushing. Oh, boy. Yeah, she's just taking a, a lot of damage. And we see even the Jinx. Maybe a mistake doing that zap right there. Oh, young oh. Rhett. Wow. So that's a double flash. And now we see Udyr's down here to pick up the kill on the Milio. He will flash away. Milio just kicks him away and says, not today, Taliban. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Got to control him with the drones or something. Yes, um, sir. Gets him out of there. Um, but we do see uh, an interesting little trade, actually. I mean, a flash from the Jinx and the flash from the Twitch, a one-for-one. One. Um, but Milio got the kill. That's the only issue there. And tell me this. How is it that the junglers have the most farm in game right now? Oh, except for Nico, who's doing pretty well in farm, 36. Guess, yeah, they're zooming around those camps. Oh, yeah. We, uh... <laughs> Got some background laughter, some shenanigans. He's losing. I haven't heard that. We got some Category Five shenanigans going on in the background. I apologize. Damn, <laughs> what'd you do to him over there? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the wheeze is rare for him. That's so funny. They're probably laughing at this uh, lack of farm in top side. It's twenty six twenty five. This is kind of silly. That's a really cool Aatrox skin. I don't know if that's Dark Star or whatever, but very cool textures on the Qs there. It is. A little bit of a struggle against the Malphite at the moment. He wants to go in. I mean, Malphite's, yeah, oh, I don't know about that. I there know, we I go. I just don't know. I don't know about that. Um, Aatrox is now dead. Yeah, Aatrox just gets altered. I mean, he wasn't paying attention to the XP counts. Right. I mean, even, I, I feel like he's dead even before Malphite 6. I don't know. Kali wants to do a little bit of damage. Yeah. Goes in as soon as she hits six. Okay, Kali pressing buttons does oh, some damage. Some big team fight down here though with the exhaust goes out. We see we're not a glass. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean right. she still dies to that poison, absolutely. We see the Twitch the Young definitely. Young Rat looking to get that kill. Wow. Okay, Twitch so gets away. He gets out. Both of them get out. Akali Nico wants this really bad. Oh, one more auto. One more auto. I'm sorry. Oh, and it tracks and her through it. the flash. That is tough for the Akali. Um, she ends up going down there. Burns yeah. her flash for that with nothing to show for it, unfortunately. Akali misreading her damage. She doesn't have Ignite. She couldn't get that kill. And that's really bad because Akali needs kills to get going. And Nico is so strong mid-game. And her CC is insane. Especially with this Malphite top lane. Their ults are going to stack on each other. And Twitch is just going to free farm the oh team. Oh my god, for real. That's just going to be so nice. I want, I want to see that exact thing happen. Yes. I yeah, want to see it. It would be so satisfying. It would be poetic justice because young rat is rocking uh, not a rat. And I think that's a travesty. What, what are you doing? You can't yeah, be it's doing messed that. up. Look at this damage from the Nico. I mean, what's going on? That's crazy. There was one ability. Yeah, Nico's just slapping Jeez. a collie. 255 damage. That's wild. Damn. Wow. Okay, that's all the kills. Um, and this is not looking too good for our Reapers because... Their team relies so much on kills to get ahead, wow. especially this Aatrox, who is managing to lose to Malphite 1v1. There haven't even been any ganks. You know what's crazy, too? And Raw Reapers is 8 and 2 in this lead. Yeah. In the split so far, so this early game, not ideal for them. I mean, you know, 700 gold difference, whatever, but definitely not something that we're used to seeing from them, I would say. Mm -hmm, um, but. I wouldn't put it past the team fight phase, though. They do have a comp that is really strong in skirmishes. If they can rotate the map better than Obsidian, their team is so good at catching people in rotations. Definitely. Aatrox and there we go. Trying. You know, he's trying to do some damage. I feel like uh, Akali fun. caught. It might oh. get bloom, but might get blossom. But no, Udir's there to support her. So we do see Nico running around. There's three people mid now. Oh, yeah. this is a the whole very team. dangerous. Wow. Be careful. Actually. Akali's low. And Vi and Nico can win this. Their ults are too okay. strong. Okay. That's a double kill. It's going to be a double kill. Certainly the Vi wow. is still alive. Goes down. Oh. oh wow. Akali very just close. barely sneaking those kills. Living with one HP. And Emilio coming to the party late. What's up, guys? Oh. That was a very nice ult from the Nico. Alt flash hits three of them. Yeah, no, that was an excellent uh, pop blossom from Nico. But uh, I'm not know. even sure that's the name of the alt. Whatever. Ultimate from Nico. A good snare onto three, but there's no follow up damage there. 
That was a very good try. Yeah. I'm gonna say. Um, and if Melio had come up sooner, that would have been an easy kill. And that would have put Nico ahead so far in this game. Would have been nice for there. Akali mm -hmm. is always a scary lane opponent, especially, I mean, Nash level eight. As soon as she has six, I get scared. Um, I feel like I've never even played her since yeah. that remake. I don't know. Oh my god, Udyr oh, is back. Nico getting ganked again. The, the clone again wow. fakes him out. So we saw the sick clone from her earlier. Wants to go back in, do something, say, hey, I tricked you. Yeah, um, this Nico is oh, sneaky. Man. Seriously, that was crazy. Well done. Great, very ankles. experienced with the champion. Oh, yeah. Um, I feel like you don't just do that. Like, oh, I saw this in the clip. I'm going to try it. <laughs> but so clean both times. So I think this guy's going to sure. see some cool stuff from this guy. JDK playing Nico as if he were Shaco. Right. <laughs> yeah. Sending that clone exactly. down the river. But he wasn't a clone. He was him all along. Doing a good job with that. Young Rat oh. and uh, I can't even see what that name is. Is that Ghost? Whatever. Uh, Ghost BM. Glask. She's a, yeah. Ghost Ghost. BM, damn. So they're shoving the lane. 30 farm difference for Young Rat. Young Rat is up yeah, there. Yeah, the that is That's substantial. Uh, that is not good. And that is really not good because Jinx is one of the strongest hyper carries in the game right now. This is not the champion you want to snowball a lead. Especially not with the Renata Glass, because it's a strong combination in team fights. Kali going in, she's not going to get much damage again. The clones. Oh my god. JDK is juking everyone out with those clones. It's like the timing on the clones yeah. is so perfect. Like, you know, a, he knows Akali has these abilities up. We see Vi on this dragon, though, with Milio. Akali's making her way down. I want to see the Vi get the dragon. I think she. Okay, she has it. She yeah. does have it. Akali um, going into what? No one's there to support you. Uh, yeah. Okay, so they, they wanted to you know, yeah. poke him a little bit for getting that dragon, but they end up getting out of there cleanly. Not an issue. It would be a bigger deal if there were an objective, but they're not a glass gulch. It's not going to be a cooldown they really care about right now. Nico almost getting a snare there. It would have been Akali's death for sure. Look at that little... Oh, look at the real rat doing some, yeah. work, doing some work as the real rat. The rat IRL. Let's oh, go. Oh, man. Yeah, that poison's scary. Tries the rocket to get a pickup. Not enough. Milio, very low, though. Looks like they're going to back safely here. Aatrox missing the Q. He may die here. He's going to ult. it ulted. See what he does? Malphite does no. have his. It's true. Malphite's going to wait out Aatrox's ultimate. Can't contest that. Misses the ult. Oh my god. With City. Oh my god. Wow. That was crazy. And we saw the flash in place from Aatrox, but he still, he will get the kill. <laughs> he that flash gave him the kill right there. Amazing. Wow, the damage no, on Nico. Yeah, Kali is one hit away from death, but Udyr coming in the wings again. Stuns oh my the wrong god! target. This guy's crazy with the clones. Holy shit. And that would have almost certainly been Udyr's death if Vi hadn't missed her Q. That right. was unfortunate. Grave Master. Go back, go back on Maokai. No, yeah. no BM. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you need the, you need the uh, click. The click CC. Point and click CC OP. Bring back old rise. There you go. Oh, my God. Oh, oh flash. Tried it. Tried it. Tried it. Might still get it. Could Trying to get, get saucy it. here. One auto. Oh, this is, oh, this is crazy. Wow. Oh, this is scary. Okay, Vi coming in. Oh, Malphite's here with a little cue to pick it up. Bonk. Okay, he will take that. Aatrox is very upset. <laughs> yeah, that was. Walks in, gets a kill, back up to the lane. Oh. Random Jinx all from downtown, hitting absolutely nothing. Oh boy, that was a very, very cheeky flash root attempt from the Nico. Yeah, and this Ends is. Up paying off. This is not looking good. You've got gold on the two members of obsidian that are the biggest obstacles for roars comp to overcome the malphite ultimate the nico ultimate that's a lot of cc and a lot of lockdown for a team that really thrives on spreading out in a fight and keeping uh fights going on for a long time jdk getting dove in out Why runs three Best. Still under the tower. Three people. Jinx does get that. Okay. Kill. Twitch is here, though. Gets exhausted. Wants the Jinx really bad. The exhaust does save for life. You see Vi ulting in on the Renata Glass. Goes almost down, but the Flash saves her there. 
And that Everyone was Everyone is problem. here. Everyone is here except Malphite at the moment. Um, it looks like, yeah, it ends up being just a, a little scrap. Yeah, it's a good skirmish, and this is exactly what Roar's comp wants. They like these skirmishes. Their team is full of people who do incredible damage over a long fight. So these chaotic, disorganized fights, this is perfect for them, and Obsidian need to avoid this. They should really hold their alts and fight around objectives. That's where their team shines. Absolutely. And now, Udyr just farming up a storm about 30 CS up on Vi. Pretty substantial. Definitely. I'm not sure where that came from exactly. Because they were pretty equal earlier. They had mm -hmm. the highest farm together in the game. Just Udyr things. Right. I mean, he's just quick with that clear. Is he Jinx still? Uh, around a 20, 22 CS lead on the Twitch. Doing some work. Um, Oh boy, look at the look at the Akali. She got it yeah. right this time. Not so this that time. Is, you know, it can't be 100% success right on the clone. No, they're catching on. They are. Eager to see how JDK uh, switches it up. Maybe a kill here. Nope. Akali just jumps over the wall. Honestly, a good thing for Obsidian because there were two others waiting in the wings. That probably wouldn't have ended well. Yeah, that would have been real nice. Though. No. So, good thing Vi peeps out of there. Dragon up in 30 seconds. In, Surely we'll see something. It almost seems like Vi is not sure what to do. She's not sure how to get into these lanes and gank. She's on one of the strongest ganking junglers in the game, but she's not really playing the character to her strength. And laning phase is over and done with, but we're still laning. We are. No towers down except the bot blue. Oh, okay. So Udyr is on his way in with a little bit of a slow... Follow up from our Reapers. Udyr does go down, so the front line is gone. We're not a glass with the alt. CC's the Vi pretty hard. Twitch is still alive despite the Akali going in on him. Vi yeah. very, very low. Twitch by himself. Hopefully, Nico can do something to save him here. Does make them all go away. Alts, two of them with the root follow up and the Q. Wow, a bunch of damage onto them. They yeah. are now gone. Aatrox late to the party says, Wait, I want to play too. Oh, I don't know if that was a good idea. Does get the Vi, but that is a four-way kill and assist and now Malphite's here and that is an ace for your troubles here's the Malphite alt wow. just cleaning up the fight says look I hit one I did my job we're done here right and I'm surprised they aren't going for this dragon there's no one there to contest it they're just gonna let it go go for bot lane and reset dang I kind of want that dragon really bad after that yeah uh, I get it it's a cloud drake doesn't really do much for anyone. Probably figured more risk than reward. Fair. Udyr coming the flank. I don't know about this. Yeah, you hit the Malphite, but what are you going to do to the Malphite? There's a Vi right there waiting in the wings and a Nico. And they just don't, leave yeah, they don't care. They're just letting their friend die. What kind of homie are you? You're supposed to be his <laughs> teammate. <laughs> what was that? He does end up getting away. Good thing. And then oh, bam! No! Power in the kisser from they, downtown. <laughs> they don't even save him from the rocket. This guy was abandoned after his no. help bot lane that he provided. Talk about a top lane island. That person was cast away. Oh, man. Void has no friends on this team. It's tough. It's poor tough. The, the poor rock, you know. It looks like that is a chem Emilio walking into the wrong neighborhood has to flash. Oh, oh, he gets my. ulted. This Akali is just smurfing on them. Good job. Oh, Nico. Oh, here. Nico catches three. Oh, that is so huge from her. Every time she's doing insane work in these team fights. Double kill, Vi follow up, and the Malphite. <laughs> oh my God, it's gone. They're gone. And Malphite. They're gone. Wow. Like the cool kid in class, late to everything. Alts two, walks away. So that is a 6-1-3 Twitch now, 600 gold bounty, has the Blade of the Rune King, and surely a considerable amount of gold pieces to spend. Oh yeah, and it looks like he's going to build a Runan's Hurricane after this Blade. Twitch is 6-1, and one. that's incredible. He is scary. Yeah, he that... He is a little scary. You don't he, want that guy looking like that. He's got something to prove. He, he knows that he is really the young rat. Right. He needs, you know, we should make it that... Um, he has the to other guys to change his name. He has to give up the summoner. <laughs> yep. You know, fake rat. A little side bet. Exactly. Fake <laughs> rat. That's better. That's what Exposed he Exposed rat. We see, uh, we see Killian doing a good job on that Twitch. And DA Obsidian definitely 
translating their momentum oh, from last game. Watch out, Aatrox. Game. Aatrox can definitely die here. Udyr's coming to save him. Udyr, Renata Glask, even Jinx on their way up top. Um, yeah, who needs Aram? We're going top lane. All right. It looks but like this is a problem. Dispersing. You're letting the... You're letting the Akali free farm bot lane uncontested. That is the absolute worst champion on Roar's comp for you to allow to solo a lane. Wow, so Vi with a huge cross map flash Q to get the Udyr with a Q does not end up doing anything, but Twitch! Damn! Oh my god! Twitch shows up and does 20 million damage real quick. Gets the, <laughs> gets the double kill, flashes away from the Akali and gets out it, it, pretty insane play oh, sure. from the twitch there and gives his team a complete advantage and now they can grab honestly if they want they can grab the baron and t1 and is just on i'm sorry t1 meow or are moo can't see the name from here but trying his best to assassinate the twitch doing what he can in the fight does a good job but there's a flash and a team full of tanky people he really couldn't do much free baron off the back of that fight wow yeah that's the baron for him i mean what what a show up right there by Twitch. Very clutch play. Solid, solid team play from him there. Oh, yeah. Uh, that includes just killing him instantly. Mm -hmm. I mean, their health went down from like 60 to 10% in a couple seconds there. Maybe less than two. Um, they're gone. For sure. This Nico and Twitch is seriously saying, get on my back. I'm going to carry this team to victory. Twitch especially. Seriously, doing a great job. They will oh, take yeah. the little mid tower for that OBJ bounty. They need it at the moment. And I want to reiterate here that Raw Reapers are eight and two. They're in, currently in second place in the standings. And Day Obsidian showing up tonight saying they want to make the playoffs. They are going to get these wins in the bag real quick. Using the momentum from last game, now 6K gold difference between them. A pretty considerable lead on Twitch as far as team participation kill partic kill participation going here 8 1 and 4 700 gold bounty he wants that natural suit i think he'll get it very soon he might back and grab it matter of fact he's yeah. about to he's backing right now and he grabs it oh he gets the rage blade arguably way stronger oh, for that wow. guy yeah and this is a problem you've got a twitch with three items he has reached the holy trinity oh my god he's ascended that guy is going to do some scary shit he oh, is yeah. going to do some scary shit. You want, uh, I mean, really, that's also the problem. How do you exactly get to that guy, right? For sure. that all giving you a bunch of range. You have a call you can dive in, but can you guarantee that you hit the Twitch? Not exactly. We're not a glass with the alt. I suppose you can hit him alongside the, the rest of the team. Ideally, like I said, uh, Twitch is, you know, mid alt and you alt him. He attacks everyone else, gets the poison on him or something, but... Oh, Akali wants the Nico here. Sees her in the top lane. The clone. The jukes. <laughs> the jukes. The clone gets there, wants to stall a little bit while her oh. teammate ults or uh, teleports and in. Malphite's ult. here. Yes, Does there end we up go. getting the Akali. An amazing stall by Nico with the ult and the Malphite teleport. Udyr still doing a bunch of damage, just walking on top of this guy. Oh, and the rest of Raw Reapers do show up, so it looks like Malphite will go down here. Honestly, a very good attempt. You know, ends up. I wouldn't say wasting, not necessarily wasting, but yeah. the teleport is used there. Um, but but now that's that's four tops, so these yeah. guys got to get back to base real quick. They before spend Day and two Day ultimates everything. at the cost of two turrets. Was that worth it? Oh, man, and they're just going to take that. Who cares if Renata's here? They're just going to take that tower real quick. Yeah, I mean, what exactly is the threat? You have an Udyr running at you. You just walk away. Right. You have Emilio support with a Twitch in Viz and speed buff on his Q. Oh. And, I mean, this is the problem with Roar's team comp. They're essentially just solo queue power hour, but there's no real rhyme or reason to their composition. They want to skirmish. They want to spread out. But, again, Obsidian's composition, take notes, other teams. It's so much easier to uh, execute, and it has real purpose. Oh, man. Oh, I think he's dead. Yeah, he tanks that turret shot. He's I done. I think he might be a little Oh, dead. no, they're oh, turning it. Oh, the team's here, though. The team's here. But she jukes again and baits the team into a terrible position. Oh, so Vi does go for the alt. Flashes out, wants to get a little bit away, but not far enough. The team is not there to help her. A bit too deep. And we see Akali uh, onto the Nico now. Misses the root, unfortunately. Still able to get out with the Milio alt. JDK is just breaking everyone's ankles. They keep trying to get him. He's caught alone. You think he's going to die, but 
he just outplays everyone on Roar again and again with these Nico clones. Might be a main. Could yeah. be a Nico main. Maybe even a one trick. No. They want to ban Nico stuff. against this guy next. Definitely, game. that's a little <laughs> scary to see someone with such mastery of a champion. Um, For sure. I feel like that's rare. Usually, mm -hmm. I want to say that Nico is typically not too crazy, but this guy. I mean, he's doing it. He's got it down. He knows what he's doing for sure. Uh, yeah, and they need to get more scanners in the side of Roar. I mean, I get it. You don't want Nico to flank, but when there's a bunch of pink wards clearing out all of your um, ward trinkets, it doesn't really mean much in terms of vision. And right. you can see they're not really using their vision. They don't. They have three wards on one side of the map. And I think that's a big problem because Nico keeps getting these incredible flanks and Malphite keeps teleporting to wards they haven't cleared. Right. They are kind of setting themselves up for failure there. They definitely need to up the vision game a little bit there, at least a little bit. We see Milia with a 58 vision score. And not again, sending this Nico keeps overextending, gets an ultimate, but you're not getting out of this one. It's an Aatrox and a an Sure, Eater. she's done. This yeah, she's done. They're not falling for it. Oh my god! No, no, no. Surely she does not make it out. No a way. A good clone into the root. Oh wow. my god. He's going to get out. No. Nope. Oh! Wow. He could have gotten it too with Q2. I don't know why. Maybe he was scared of being snared under turret. But wow. This Nico. Holy shit, that guy's crazy. Tom Cruise Slippery on Nico. Thing. Mission Actually, Impossible. Yeah. Getting out of everything. What's going on here? Holy shit, that guy is doing some Malphite coming right. coming to tickle Akali with a couple auto attacks and a boulder. Oh boy. I mean, that's just fun to see. I'll, I'll see oh, anyone yeah. do that. If they can do that on the Nico, I want to yeah. see that more often. You want to see people tickle Akali? Well, yes, also. But, okay. you know, jeez. We, we respect all proclivities in this. Of course. Swag life we'll is kink safe, <laughs> uh, kink friendly space. Okay, oh, now there's a bit of a lull in the game. It feels like both teams don't exactly know what to go for. Uh, I get it. Um, Obsidian should be a lot less afraid. And good, they're starting a Baron baiting. They burn a teleport from Aatrox. That's huge. And they do it for nothing. I mean, Aatrox, they could have honestly killed him right there. If they had better vision, they could have seen that none of his teammates were there. But they didn't ward deep into the jungle or clear before starting the Baron bait, which was a big mistake. That was a wasted opportunity. Absolutely. Um... I want to say that these guys might, maybe not. I don't know. I, I, the Baron being up and uh, DA Obsidian hovering around it pretty heavily. We see Nico bot lane still. She does have teleport up, but it looks like they want to do something with the Baron. At least maybe bait while Reaper's over. Udyr, I mean, if he dies, he's not a real Udyr. He dies. He's not a real Udyr. That was a lot of CC to be fair to that guy. There we go. U.S. Marine Corps taking out Taliban <laughs> Karthus. Right. He got, I mean, they didn't even take any damage. He got clapped right there. And that was a problem. That's the jungler. And Taliban Karthus blowing up all chances of their team getting anywhere. That's Jinx. a lead blown. Jinx wants to try it with the rocket. Doesn't quite get it. No. HP, Only but. about 3,000 HP shy. <laughs> no, no, it was a close attempt. No shave, though. Jinx is going in blind. She really couldn't do anything better. Yeah. Tried her best there. We see Dragon up in 15 and we as see the fourth dragon. And Obsidian just has a better read on the map. I mean, look at their ward coverage. They have a line of vision extending deep into um, Roar's jungle on the red side and extending diagonally and horizontally down the river. They have complete vision over this line of demarcation. For real. They're doing a, actually, they're doing a very great job with the with the vision there. A colleague that 1 HP dies to the Hextech belt. Explodes. Oh, oh, and the fadeaway ult from Malphite. Oh, the four-person Nico ult as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, Raw Reapers yeah. is actually clowned on. That's a full ace from them. And not a single death with Baron buff. Inhib open. They could end the game. Wow. And Nico says, screw the blue buff. I don't need your buffs. Your buffs are not good enough for me. Yep. You see... Malphite teleports bot, wants to get that push in the bot lane. There are three people going to grab the inhib while Vi grabs the dragon. 
Malphite teleporting bot for no discernible reason. There's empowered Baron minions. They could have just run it down mid. I, I very don't. true. Very solo queue tactics coming out, but they don't care. They win the game. Yeah, I think they can just take this tower. I don't know if they can get the Nexus exactly. Oh, yeah. They'll try it. I mean, they'll they do it. They got it. GG. I think they'll take it out. Wow. There we yeah. go. Who would have thought the better comp wins again? Right. <laughs> Someone call LS. Oh, man. So that's another crazy... Honestly, unexpected um, team play and gameplay from DA Obsidian there to finish out the second game. 2-0 uh, tonight, double header. Yeah. Pressure did not get to them as we saw. Huge comeback in game one and uh, honestly, domination in, in game two, which is surprising considering Raw Reaper's previous record. So well done by them tonight. For wow. sure. And um, I think the lesson learned is these other teams really have to go back to the drawing board with their compositions. It just seems like people are picking comfort picks, but... How does that work with the actual composition? It's going to matter more than anything. These champions are just going to scale. Yeah. And if you're not confident to pull up the game, you're better off just playing wombo combo compositions that are easier to execute. You know, if you can do it, do something you can do. You know what I mean? You know, don't don't try to you know create some new stuff. Um, I think the Nico. I mean that's it's tough to go against such a, a masterful Nico. You see these alts and these team fights. It's rare where she's not hitting at least three people. That is so pivotal in a team fight like that, where you have so much follow up and damage from the Twitch. You have the Vi to catch someone out to initiate that if you need, with the Malphite alt for more CC follow up. So, very, very strong comp. Um, definitely, like you said, um, in those fights, they did a great job and they come out with the win. That's, like I said, 2 0 for them. Yeah. And I think we have an interview with this crazy Nico player. JDK, there he is. Look at him. There oh, he is. there I am. What's going on, Jay? What's going on, guys? Uh, you guys can hear me? I hear you. See, sorry, Jay. I can now. Hello? Hello? I cannot. Okay. I'm sorry, it's not your fault. We do not have any ventriloquists here, so uh, we're going to need some audio. Oh, slight technical difficulties. Test. Hello? Yes, hello? He is. He did. He's, he's trying to. We're trying to free JDK right now. Are you muted on your end? Perchance. Uh, doesn't. Does it work Everyone now? Everyone in the chat, hashtag free JDK. <laughs> I'm not muted. We need to get this man out of audio prison. <laughs> uh, let me double check my settings. We're getting there. Um, so I'll just say, you know, this is it. How about now? Hello? I hear TikTok. No. I don't think it's you. Jay, either way, man, I, I will commend you regardless. Yeah. Um, the Nico plays were, I mean, honestly, a little fucking crazy by you. Those clones, yeah. people were crying. I heard them from here. Uh, Raw Reapers crying, freaking out, screaming about these clone jukes that you're doing. Um, they think you're going over there. You're actually right next to them still doing damage. They don't even notice because the juke is so clean. What's going on? Um, incredibly well done in that regard. That's one aspect of your of your play on the Nico. Um, yeah, and another was how well JDK was able to get those flank proto belt alts. Let's see if this is working now, Jay. Can I say Hello, that? is it working at all? That's tough. Damn. We're sorry, tired. everyone. Um, just more comment, you know, just more compliments for you. That's fine. I mean, the alts and the team fights. You are going off. I mean, what an incredible. I don't know. So. I guess you don't want to divulge necessarily. I feel like any team watching this who have you in a matchup upcoming might have noticed this play if they take a look at VODs or anything or they do any preparation. Um, but regardless, are you in, you might be be a Nico main if you ever get the audio working. Um, you would be able to answer. Yeah, can you give us a thumbs up, Jay, if you're a Nico main? No. No, no he's not. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, now we hear you. There we go. Oh, wait. Is it working now? Yeah, yeah we got you. you. Oh, there we go. All right. Awesome. Sorry. I was trying to fix stuff on my end, but no, I, I yeah, guess well, I don't worked. think it was you, so it's you're okay. good. Um, so how do you feel after that? I mean, dude, that game one was, was crazy. I need to feel. I need your I need your feelings from the game one first. Let's, let's start off with that. Oh, I mean, I felt pretty good. Uh, I think the entire way. Um, I know like, it wasn't like going out to plan. We we're pretty far behind. But I felt like I was still six and three or eight and three at some point, and I thought like I was like there's still a chance. And once I one shot the Ash, I was like, okay, I can one shot probably everyone on their team, 
if the fights just work and the Nexus doesn't explode. Yeah. So I just felt like once we got rolling some team fights, I mean, that Goldie went away really fast and it felt like they didn't have a chance after that. Right. Yay. I mean, they locked down, you guys locked down all the dragons. You had the soul point, you got all the barons. At the end of the day, the OBJs speak for themselves regardless. You're out of towers, you have one inhib left, Nexus is open. It doesn't matter to your team. You guys still, you know, you you say, hey, what the hell? We're not, this is not happening right now. A complete denial. You you run down there and you give them the same treatment. It's amazing. Yeah, it definitely takes some luck too and like some just like clutch plays. And I feel like, you know, obviously stealing that first Baron was really clutched by Rave. And uh, I mean, like like the outplay on the, the whatever 2v3 in the mid lane by Zaya where Feather somehow one shot everyone. Like it just like some plays like that, they just keep stacking. And next thing you know, like it doesn't matter two inhibs down, open Nexus, like, you just march right down in the game. Yeah. Yeah, and, and Jay, it seemed like in both games that your team had a composition that had a real intention behind it. Do you guys have some compositions that you're working on that you practice that have real intention, that have, um, they're not just comfort picks? Yeah, the, the shout out to Kadu, our coach we brought in, and uh, he's been doing a really good job kind of I guess, uh, giving our team a direction, you know, giving us some identities and, and certain things we want to play around. I think you can insert and kind of take out different champs, but basically like whatever he wants us to do, it kind of accomplishes his one goal of a play style that he has for us. All right, yeah, it's, it's pretty apparent. And I take it he's helping you guys with vision placement as well. There's some great vision in the second game. Oh, uh, he definitely helps them with that. But Buck, I mean, it does a pretty good job, I think, already. Uh, I remember one time their entire top quadrant around Baron was just lit up. We could see anyone walking in there, except for the one spot where the guy TP to, which he also called out. <laughs> also, even when he doesn't have the vision, the guy's still calling out what's going on. So that, that's yeah. good. He's good. That's, that's clean. We'd love to see that. So huge wins for you guys coming into the near playoff area here. Uh, vital wins, honestly, for the for the for the standings. Um, well done. Um, you know. Um, Thank you. Yeah, great night for you guys. Um, thanks so much for talking to us. Mm -hmm. um, good luck in the future games, man. I'm sure we'll see you very soon. Thank yeah, you. thanks so much for having me, guys. Thanks. All right. Yep. Wow. I mean, awesome. those guys went off. Well done, guys. And you know, any, really, anyone can do this. Think of it this way. This is a Swag Life series. You join, you know, you join this place if you if you suck. You join this place if you're good. Especially if you suck. Exactly. And even if you do suck, you're gonna play against someone who else, you know, someone maybe who sucks worse. <laughs> and even if you even if you don't, you're gonna improve because you're playing against all these different people, all different play styles, just like in solo queue. Um, maybe you want to do clash, but guess what? This is way better than clash, isn't it? It's way mm -hmm. cooler. We talk about you. Um, you come in for an interview if you want, all this cool stuff. So you know what? You want to, you got a team you don't want, or maybe you don't have a team. If you have a team, you don't have a team, join the Discord. You go to join.sls.lol. Please, God, sign up for next split. It's going to be uh, like winter, winter of next year, January, February in that area. I'm not going to give you, uh, you know, an exact date because that would be foolish of us because you know how it goes at the SLS. Um, but, you know, join, join us, guys. Put together a team. Join as a solo free agent. We got plenty of guys who need, you know, all these teams need players or, you know, fill in subs, all these, all these different things. We have a whole discord. Please join us um, and, you know, get ready for the next split. I, I want you guys, I want more people in here. You guys do a great job. We love casting mm -hmm. games. Very entertaining, especially tonight. Fantastic games. Um, put on a show for us. Put on a show for everyone watching. Do some cool shit. For Come sure. show off, dude. Come show off your crazy shit that you got. You know, you, you think you you have a the skill for, you know, a platform. You want it. You want to show off what you can do. Come do it here. You know, what yeah. I mean? You um, want to style on people like JBK did, breaking yeah. ankles and using clones the way like Shaco, breaking the characters meta. Do it. Come here. Show off what you got on stream. Yes, yes. And last this is, series. Next week is the last week of the regular season. Oh my God! So that's. That means playoffs is right around the corner, guys. And we did see DA Obsidian getting some vital wins, like I said, for that part mm -hmm. of the split, the playoffs. I think the standings changed a bit from oh, that. Yeah. Two wins off the bat. There was that three-way tie with the three and five or something record like that. Three and seven, maybe. I don't, I don't remember. But I know for sure that they broke out of that. And now they, I believe, should be in the top four or something like that. But um, fantastic by them. Week seven next week. It's right. Playoffs are right around the corner. Join.sls.lol. Oh, yeah. Sign up for next split. Come back again if you enjoyed and you're playing this split. If you want to play next split, come on back. 
Um, we're always making improvements. We're always trying to be better for y'all. You know, make it more enjoyable for everyone, including ourselves. We do love doing this. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the end of the night. For sure. And thank you for having me. My first time casting here. Fantastic job, guys. All right, everyone. Come on, guys. I mean, Matt did a great job casting. What a fantastic job. Yeah. This guy has never casted uh, anything in his life, really. He's, you know, he's practiced before, but he's never done something like this. And he did a fantastic job, honestly. Um, what a blessing to have him here tonight. Um, thank you so much, Matt, for coming. And, guys, we will see you next week for week seven. Again, the final week before playoffs. Join the SLS to LOL. Please, God, make a team. Join a team. Get in the, get in the league. Come on. Come on. Yes, sir. Join Bye. us. And peace out, everyone. Have a good night. Have a good night.